You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lo Rezzy, aka Lauren. Hope you guys are well. I'm so glad you are back and watching this video. It's super exciting, as you can see by the title below. Not a below. Well, below, above, below. I think it's below. As you can see by the title, it is going to be the first video of many moving vlogs, transformation videos, decorating videos, you know, just the whole moving process. This video is basically like the beginning of us moving almost two months ago at this point. I actually think it has been two months. So we moved into this place two months ago. So I've been filming over the span of two months, here and there, moving in, unpacking, organizing, cleaning, building furniture, things like that. So Puffy is here to speak as well. I'm super excited that I'm finally able to share this with you guys. I want to say first, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you as part of the fam. But if you're returning, and thank you guys so much for coming back. I hope you guys love this video. Like I said, I'm really excited to share with you guys our place, me and Bryce. We got our own place together. It's 30 minutes away from where I'm from in like a bigger city super exciting I'm excited to be able to explore and go try different places like restaurants and shopping and all that kind of stuff this is obviously the first I've moved out so it's a big step for me and yeah I just definitely wanted to take you guys along and even though this video is kind of choppy you will see I still wanted to share certain moments of this moving process with you guys like I said this isn't going to be the only video revolving around moving Moving. this is just like the first tour just general unpacking and stuff I'm gonna like do a whole separate video showing you guys the process of me transforming my makeup studio it's gonna be a whole series on here so get ready as for now I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and yeah if you guys have any suggestions of anything I don't know any tips I should know for living in our own, well, our first place, my first place um, with Bryce. If you have any tips for that or anything, any suggestions like design wise, let me know down below. Like I said, I hope you guys love the place and love this video. And without further ado, we go back two months into us first moving in. Enjoy guys. The day is, <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> I honestly forget. It is Wednesday, March 3rd, is it the 3rd? Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. A little over two weeks, two and a half weeks ago, we got the keys to the apartment, Bryce and I, and a lot has happened, but not much has happened since then. So I just wanted to pick it up and show you the current state of affairs. Also take you through this entire moving process. We're moving, we found an apartment, I'm so excited. And I'm really excited to document it and share with you guys and show you guys the whole design process, yada, yada, yada. I just wanna say right now, please excuse my appearance. It's not cute. The reason why I'm just starting it now is that I just got back from vacation, went on vacation like within a week of us getting the keys. I couldn't really do much before that because I didn't want to lose all my stuff and in packing, you know, for the vacation, it would have just been too much. The only thing we really did was take kitchen stuff. So the kitchen is complete and the bathroom is complete-ish but I will show you guys that when we get there later today. This is the current state of affairs that I wanted to show you. I am kind of packing up my room a little bit. I don't really know where to start also like what I really want to bring. Some stuff I'm like leaving here. Like I kind of cleared out the shelf over here. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to keep here because I'm not I'm going to keep my room kind of exactly how it is for the most part. So I'm not really bringing a lot of stuff from here. I'm mostly getting new stuff for the place. But at the same time, there is a lot that I'm bringing because there's a lot of stuff that I use daily. Yeah, right now I just kind of packed up some long-term long things 
that I'm not going to be needing right away. Like these two are filled with purses and belts and hats and stuff, books, just random things like that. Like I said, I packed up the shelving unit over there. So I put like perfumes and lotions. And oh my God, my cats. Like I said, I left some stuff behind. I'll show you because I just don't know what I'm going to be needing. You know, I'm not there at the apartment yet 24 seven. I have spent two nights there one night there i think two so i'm not like fully moved in yet as you can see my room still basically looks the same it just looks messy it's a process but we are slowly but surely getting there that's the current state of affairs i just wanted to like start it this vlog not even a vlog this documentary i don't know what's it even called this like i was saying i'm just trying to get some stuff together that i know that i won't immediately need like while i'm here and just get it over there and pack my car up i try to make so we're moving where we're moving to is 30 minutes away from where i currently live i try to like make the trip as much as i can and every time i do make the trip i bring stuff up the only reason why i'm like still staying back and forth is obviously because a we don't have everything there yet we don't really have furniture you'll see i'm talking too much just like taking stuff off the walls getting stuff packed up and you know figuring out oh wait need this figuring it out, out out figuring it out as we go i'm gonna go do the dang thing talk to you guys when we're gonna go over the house It is now two days later from when I talked to you last. I was packing up my room the last time I talked to you. I didn't finish packing it up, but I got a, a good amount of stuff packed up in bags and cleared out. I look a mess, honestly. I'm kind of wearing the same outfit I think I was wearing that day because, oh. I'm wearing the same outfit I think from that day because I like forgot clothes to bring more clothes. I didn't think I was gonna stay more than one night. Been here for two nights now. We like recently did laundry yesterday, so I washed the clothes that I had on. Anyway, you don't care. I keep smacking my camera on the window. We are here at the new house. Uh, I wanted to quickly vlog and show you guys what it's looking like and give you a little kind of unofficial tour. Bryce is actually upstairs sleeping right now. He works night shift, so he's taking a nap. Here's the side door that we come in most often. And this is the kitchen. You walk right in. Really cute. Try to ignore all the mess. I didn't clean it at all because it's just crazy in here. So here's a couple things I need to set up from Chewy for the cats. I think, I don't know exactly what's in these boxes. I have like a few of them. Well, I know that's the cat tree. And then we have like litter box and stuff like that. So yeah, whatever. Window right here. Got a little calendar. Got these curtains from, I actually think I got these from Ollie's. They're so cute. I'm obsessed with them. I love yellow and I love the little puff balls. We put actually like window film on this bottom half of the window and it creates like a rainbow in it and also like a little bit more privacy then to the right of that is the little i don't know what you would call this like a baker's rack i don't know little it, it's on wheels i got it from ikea a few years ago and we love it so much so this is not exactly how it's going to stay as far as like organization wise i i just don't know what to do with every everything yet so things are just kind of a mess but as you can see some storage on the bottom and then this is kind of like the coffee station on top minus this clutter over here but yeah i have my keurig i love this so much you saw a clip earlier when i was making coffee this is the keurig well i don't know exactly what it's called so you can make regular coffee brew regular k cup in here or you press the latte and cappuccino option and then you get a shot. I usually do sh two shots and then it has a frother for your milk on that side. I'm obsessed with it. Really recommend that, honestly. Got the cat bowls over here. This is where the babies will be eating. And this is a quick overview of the kitchen. Like I said, it's a mess. Please ignore it. Like things are just, they're coming along, okay? I got my lovely rug. 
I think I also got that from Ollie's. I thought it was cute. I just like the colors and like the bold, you know, black letters. I mean, it's kind of like cheesy, but <laughs> it makes sense because you walk into the kitchen and like that's what is on my mind first. So it works. The air fryer toaster oven here, microwave, obviously. The cabinets are really nice. The kitchen is like pretty updated, so it's really cute. I love the shelving up here. It's a little bit cluttered right now, but I try to have things like, you know, that we use often up here just random stuff like pastas rice olive oil up there some sugars then we come over here this is like usually where we'll dry the dishes i'll put the dish rack out the dishes are soaking right now because i don't feel like doing them uh we unfortunately don't have a dishwasher but it's fine you know i'm i'm washing things by hand we've got our stove pretty self-explanatory i got these from at home pink with like the rose gold love them uh, i found this little tea kettle actually from the thrift store this little soup pan pot whatever my mom gave to me we got these cute little kitties got that from kohl's actually online that is the kitchen and then you come here to the left and here's the bathroom it's pretty big like i said not complete yet you walk in and there's a lot of open space over here and this is where i'm planning on putting the cat litter stuff can't wait till you see what litter box i got it's really cute here is the shower i love the floors in here i think they're really cute and unique here i am here is the mirrors and there's storage in here. So that's really nice. That's Bryce's side. Also storage down there. And I don't know, kind of like my favorite part is all the storage that we actually have in here. We keep like cleaning products, household products. I have like cat food and stuff down there. Extra coffee jars and like paper plates and stuff that we don't use often. Like I said, my towels and stuff things that aren't in the right spot that is that a lot of space we have a basement down there it's unfinished though so i'm not gonna take you down there there's nothing really to see here's the main living area it's kind of a mess please try to ignore it i'm gonna go to the other side when you first come in this is the space that we're going to use for like the dining room table and stuff we have a table already so we're gonna put that in this half of the room and then this is like the main living part so this is actually the front door to the house. We put the rainbow window films on here too. So we just recently got this rug. I actually think from Ollie's to be honest. We do not have a couch yet, but we're actually, we purchased it today and it's going to be delivered sometime soon. So that'll go back here. I want to add like an accent chair and stuff, side table and like light. We have a TV stand, as you can see, this needs to get out of the way. But the TV stand is gonna go here and it's kind of gonna act like as an entry table and TV stand, but we're actually gonna like hang the TV. We have the TV over here, just got that today. This is the coffee table. It's moved out of the way right now for when they come and bring the couch because they'll bring it through here. I actually found this coffee table on Facebook Marketplace. It's really cute. Can't wait to show you when it's actually styled and everything. This is the first floor of the place here's the second floor this is actually our bedroom i will show you in a little bit bryce is in there on the phone here's like a little kind of i don't know main little area we have two closets up here which are really nice and i want to do like probably a bookshelf and like a chair there's hardwood floors like these really nice classic hardwood floors like very quality looking i really love them they were recently like refinished and the walls were recently painted everything's just white the landlord said i can paint i might do like a couple accent walls or do like wallpaper design some sort of thing in a couple rooms but that'll be later down the line this is the second bedroom i think this may be considered the main master bedroom the other room actually is the only room with carpet and that's kind of why we chose that as our room and it also has a balcony this room is going to be my studio so i'm gonna have all my makeup in here it's gonna be an office space so i'll have the desks in here this will be where i keep everything like that this is where i'll film videos and do my schoolwork, edit, everything. Love that. Oh my God, I just hit my head on this light. Oops. Just have these sheer pink curtains hanging in here. There is a closet in this room, just a small one. The cool part about this place is it actually has three different floors. Technically it has like three different rooms that you could utilize as a bedroom. This is like the third floor loft area. Have this kind of be an extra place for guests. We're gonna have like a futon in here. Probably gonna set up a TV over here. Just have like a big rug, a big area rug, little window over here. I'm excited to like utilize the space and see what we can do with it. We will get there when we can.
yeah so as you can see that's what we have so far slowly but surely getting things in here getting things set up that is the tour of the place and what it's looking like throughout the next couple weeks and months we're just gonna keep getting stuff in here keep decorating and just making it our home i will definitely be like taking you guys along with that process i plan on vlogging these next few days slash week i'm gonna go downstairs and like start doing dishes and like cleaning up a little bit and getting ready for the couch to be delivered hopefully today if not today definitely tomorrow but they said they're gonna try to bring it today fingers crossed they do until then we can start building furniture okay guys so i just set up the litter box here's what it looks like it's so cute it looks like a planter, so it's like more discreet. I love it. I'm obsessed. It's actually really big. Really good size for the two cats, so I think it'll be perfect. But I'm so excited. I had the little scooper up there. Everything is so cute. I'm about to attempt to build this cat tree. I hope it's not too hard. I'm planning on putting it against this part of the wall right here. It's still a mess. <laughs> crazy the couch unfortunately is not coming tonight but that's okay it'll be here tomorrow morning later. been a little while i'm not gonna lie it's been an embarrassing amount of time since i last continued this moving vlog but honestly nothing much has changed since what you saw last i think the last time i actually like talked to you guys was when we were about to get the couch did get the couch we moved in the rest of like the big furniture and now i've just been slowly putting things together so right now i'm in the makeup room you know it's coming along oh the shoe rack yesterday i built that that took me a long time for no reason it was kind of hard but i figured i would show you guys what it looks like so it's pretty nice because it's like extendable I can fit a lot of shoes on there. It's not all of them, but most of them. So I have that. We put this up here. I built this like last week. I unpacked my closet and everything. The room is coming together. Set up this little clothes thing. Hung a tapestry. We got the actual bed in here, so that's nice. Put that little plant hanging up there. We got the nightstand. It's coming together slowly but surely. I figured I would pick up with this vlog and continue it because it's not done. But the updates right now up here. I will show you the updates downstairs at a later point. Bryce is down there sleeping right now because he has work tonight. So I'm just going to continue right now working in my makeup room. I'm going to try to build my makeup shelves like right now. 
and get my desk set up. That's the plan. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. We will see. Hello friends, another day. Another part of this moving process. I just wanted to show you guys the updates and take you around. I'll show you the progress in the house. I also really need to clean a lot of stuff today. So I figured this was a good time to like include you guys in that because I do like cleaning content and hopefully you guys too. You can clean with me. And also I can show you guys like what's up with the house. I'm currently in the studio. Not much has changed around here. I'm going to make a whole separate video for the studio and putting together my dream makeup studio, decorating it, because it's just a lot of work that needs to be done and I just can't include it in here and I also can't overwhelm myself. There's still things that need to be unpacked in the main living areas, so this room, it's not the first priority, you know what I mean? Today I am just cleaning things up, going through more boxes and trying to hang things maybe or just organize things. I need to organize the bathroom. I honestly don't know where I left off last. This vlog is all over the place. So currently I am working out on the balcony. Here's our room. Obviously you can see it's all a mess. This needs to be cleaned and this all needs to be cleaned out here. Anyway, I am working out on the balcony because, not working out, I'm working out here because I am cleaning it up. I'm sweeping it up, all this crap. Little strawberry plant that is growing. I keep it inside most of the time, but I have it out here since it's really nice out and it gets nice sun. I have the lights up, so it's super cute, but sorry, it's kind of loud. Yeah, I just need to sweep it up out here, clean it up a little bit, and I need to clean this room. I'm doing all that. Oh, Bryce is gonna feed his snake. Hung this over here as well. Hey guys, so it's actually a couple days later once again. Um, I apologize. Doesn't really matter. I my camera actually died while i was cleaning so that's why it cut off i just did like a really quick clean after that so it's not like it was anything worth filming because i had class and homework so i had to go and tend to that stuff you know it's not perfect because i just realized it's never going to be perfect and well i didn't realize that i had to remind myself that it's never gonna be perfect. I'm like waiting to show you guys some like perfect reveal, but that's just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna give you guys like an update. Today is going to be like an organization part of the moving vlog, I guess. I'm gonna take you guys through that. We do have to run some errands because I need some organizers. I mainly need to organize the downstairs. Like I need to organize the cleaning closet and the towel closet and things like that. You'll see, it's it's crazy. And some things in the kitchen, that is on the agenda for today. I need to run to Target and possibly some other places to go get stuff for that. Finally made the bed. Yeah, I have tapestry up. Just a little bit of decorations going on so far. So the bedspread that I got is like, um, like a marble kind of looking thing and it's like faux fur. So it's really cozy and comfy. The reverse side is like a gray. So Bryce really likes gray and I kind of wanted to keep the bedroom like very, you know, like neutral and something we both would like. This pillow is not gonna stay, this cheetah pillow. It's just there right now. I'm gonna get pillows and different things to like, you know, decorate the bed, maybe like a throw blanket or something. I'm not really sure. So if you have any suggestions on a color I you think I should get, like I said, the bedspread is like grays. I kind of want a pop of color, but nothing too much. So let me know if you have any suggestions down below or maybe even black i'm not really sure it's gonna come together i'm thinking i want to put a mirror over in this corner we just have a hamper here right now kind of want to get a big mirror i think that'll look nice and just decorate it with some more wall art possibly switch this little fake hanging plant out for a real plant because there is a hook up there up there on the third floor uh, i don't know if i showed you guys before but it's like a loft area i'm not gonna take you up there right now because it's just not put together at all yet and i don't feel like going up there but that's like kind of bryce's domain he's gonna be designing that and making it his room so he's working on that i will show you guys when he's done here is the update we got our couch that was like the big thing that I remember talking to you guys a couple weeks ago about. I'm in love with it. We got it from this like furniture warehouse sale store. So it's called American Freight if you have one near you. We got it for a really good price and I'm in love with it. I didn't think we would be able to get a couch this big. So it's really soft, it's comfortable. I love the stud detailings on the bottom and the pillows came with it, the fluffy ones. And I added these burnt orange pillows from Ikea. 
So these are nice because they can, you can change all the covering. So every, you know, few months or holidays, I might get like coverings that kind of go with it. Behind the couch is the tapestry I actually had in my previous room. You guys should remember the Zodiac tapestry. So I think it looks perfect with everything. And this lamp I also had in my room. I have a couple plant guys over here. This is actually a fake snake plant, but this is a real money tree. Really cute. Side table is from Ikea basket from ikea to hold the blankets and this random fluffy chair is just here right now i don't think it's gonna stay here i don't know i kind of want to get a different chair so we'll see have the entrance rug from i actually got it from the dollar store it's really cute this area rug is from ollie's the table i found on marketplace bowl that i got from the thrift store and then we have the tv that we hung i am gonna cover these cords i have stuff to cover them but i just haven't gotten to it yet here is what's going on the tv stand we have a candle, little cacti decorations from Ikea again. We have our iHome, not our iHome, our HomePod lava lamp as you can see. I had an incense burning earlier, that's why it's like ashed. Has some things organized throughout the bottom here. So this area is the little dining room area. I really like how it's coming together. I got this rug once again from Ollie's. They have the best rugs. We had this table for a while. It was um, handed down to us, so... I don't really know where it's from, but the chairs are from Ollie's. A couple years ago, they might still have them. I'm telling you guys, Ollie's is my place. They have everything. This is our new plant farm we got yesterday from Lowe's. Super pretty. I don't know what kind of plant this is. So if you guys know, on the tag, it says it's just assorted foliage. See, it just says assorted foliage, but I don't really know what that means. This little sword Egyptian centerpiece that we're using. It was Bryce's. It is Bryce's. It looks really cool though. Have this little shelf up right now. Just holding some random things. It's not put together yet. Have a wine rack here that I need to figure out a table or something for. The cat tree, the cat food. This little mat is also from Ikea. I got these from At Home. All of these like pink utensils also from At Home. I think I got those from Target. Comes with like a three piece set. I was saging earlier, so my sage is just drying out. I have the shelving up here organized. I just have like bins of easy grab things, pastas, dry goods, things like that. Have the little salt and pepper here for cooking, recipe books, rice. So here's the issue that we have mainly. This stuff is like still a bunch of bathroom stuff that needs to be organized and unpacked. So that is like the thing that I wanna try to tackle today. I wanna hang that sign, maybe try to organize this a little bit better. Here in the bathroom, we have the cute litter box. Love it, you know, obviously standard bathroom stuff. Nothing too special in here. Here's the big closet that is the thing in question and it just really needs help, you know? It's a little scary. So at first I thought I was gonna be able to make everything look nice, but obviously it just, it's getting a little out of hand. I need to figure out just like a better way to organize it to make it all make sense. Consider this the before. So we're gonna go to Target, run some errands. So that is the plan, as well as, like I said, obviously unpacking this huge box of things that is to go in the bathroom and these drawers still need a little bit of help like it just needs to make sense just unpacking things can get a little stressful maybe even fix up in here yeah things are going good so far i also want to get some drawer organizers for like this kind of stuff that's like our big drunk drawer drunk junk drawer i know everybody has one you know just ways to get this all looking nice you guys know the deal go run some errands stop at target maybe big lots probably not the thrift store today well i want to stop at the thrift store to drop off clothes but i cannot go thrifting today because i just can't i can't do it i have other things to do i need to film this video and edit it and also work on homework yeah i'm gonna get out of this house it's about 1 30 right now let's go get some shopping Hey guys, so I'm in my bathroom currently right now. Okay, first of all, disclaimer. If you hear Bryce out there arguing, it sounds like he's talking to his dad. When they get into sports, it kind of gets loud. I don't know why, but they're not like arguing, but they're just having a heated debate. We are in the bathroom. This is where I'm gonna start the organization process. So I definitely want to organize this sink storage, like already that's just 
that's not it. We're not living like that. Down here, we have some stuff. I'll organize that a little bit better. Have this little side storage area. I don't really have anything in it, but like I said, once that box is unpacked, I'll probably have a lot more things filled up. Hopefully this is the before and the after is gonna look way better and way different. That is what's happening in the bathroom. Okay guys, live action, we are getting a package. And I think it's some furniture that I ordered, so perfect timing while I'm vlogging. Yeah, that MB dress could be pretty good too, I think. I think it's the outdoor stuff. It's our outdoor patio stuff. This is really exciting. We will get into that later though. These upper cabinets are pretty organized. I guess this is what we have going on. So this is all the like plates and bowls. I have way too many. The gray set Bryce had at his previous apartments at school. The white ones, including those, they were left here and they're kind of nice. So we're just like, okay. But then I also bought all these throughout the months and year probably, a couple years, just randomly when I saw them, like either thrifting or at little home stores, whatever. So we have quite a bit, but it's fine. I want to go through this a little bit and fix things up so this is all like condiments and cooking things you know stuff that doesn't need to be refrigerated or like unopened stuff we have the glasses here these are all like our everyday drinking glasses these are like milkshake cups for bryce we have some mugs up here i have a mug holder over there and also little jars are in here and up here is like alcoholic glassware the wine glasses and stuff were ours but a lot of them were left here like with those plates and stuff and they're really nice i actually just ordered a bar cart from walmart and the, that's where they'll go so we'll have a little bit more cabinet space when those get moved down here is kind of just random like cooking bowls just various cooking gear baking gear this is the utensils and kitchen tools which I don't know, I kind of want to fix that better. Down here, just our little recycling box, baggies, foil, things like that. I'm going to organize this better. Our snacks and pantry stuff. We don't have like a proper pantry here, so this is what we do. It's kind of a mess. The spice drawer, it's not that bad. Also, oh God, the Tupperware, bad. Snacks down there, just bad. Need to be vacuumed, there's crumbs. It's just not a good time. I have a bunch of storage bins here. I have some tucked under there. As of now, we're gonna get started in this bathroom. Here's the before. So I'm excited to get it whipped into shape. And with all that brings us back to present day when I'm filming this intro and outro. That was the first part of our moving process. It was the first couple months, the first two months that we've been here. Just randomly, sporadically showing you guys the moving process, unpacking process. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of all over the place. It's kind of hard to be filming every little step in the process a because it's a lot moving is no joke and it's a lot to unpack obviously we still have life going on i can't be moving 
and unpacking 24 7. i did what i could i also like went on two trips in between moving to visit family hopefully you love the house super cute we're really happy here i'm excited to, that i finally get to share with you guys and show you guys around keep an eye out for future videos makeup room transformation video is something i'm going to start working on soon i'm actually sitting in the room right now it's it's a disaster so you will see wait for that video if you enjoyed this vlog make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already i love you guys so much i thank you for all your support super excited for this new chapter and taking you guys along with me i will see you in the next video stay tuned bye guys